mindset content subscribe if any of those fit you i am gonna go on a sunset walk get myself out the house and just talk to you guys and vlog and end the night really good that's technically the plan i feel like i definitely stress out way too much about content. I want the content to be useful, purposeful. I want it to be inspirational. And there's just a lot that I want from the content that I post. And then I tend to just overthink and kind of like drag the fun out of it and then not do it. I don't want that. I like vlogging. I miss vlogging and I don't want to overthink it. I would daily vlog if I was able to keep up with it. That's how much I like vlogging and to think I really haven't been doing it. So I just want the fun back into like doing it and not stress about anything else but just doing it and honestly just having the community talking to people more often and just like being able to look back at more stuff. I have two weeks off from school transitioning from spring semester to summer semester and I want to use this time to make content I really do and earlier today I was just stressing out about how I actually filmed a video yesterday about me getting a personal trainer and I actually kind of liked the video and then I was overthinking about like the gym part of it I don't know and like I had started a series for that black Christian girl vlogs and I honestly think I need to continue it I don't need the videos to be like extra long or whatever I just want it to be just me honestly the same me who just been trying to get her life together to be healthy mentally physically spiritually and emotionally and everything and i don't have my life together and it's just like a journey and <sighs> i don't know the sun goes down at 7 52 or something and it, right now it's 704. i'm not even gonna fill up this bottle because it's a gallon I don't know if I should walk or I should run, and I still don't even know the exact location I'm going to. I feel like I'd rather go to a location I'm more used to than a new location. Because the location I know is like a full circle versus the other one, which is like, I don't even know the starting point for it. And it's not really open, it's like bushes. So I'm gonna be safe with this and go to what I know. Leftover Celsius from yesterday. Strawberry lemonade. It's actually good, my first time having this flavor. And Celsius is good after another day, I don't know. But I don't drink one Celsius in one day. I usually have it in half. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of um, caffeine. The weather outside actually feels really good. Because the sun's going down, it's not too hot. Waiting for Perry. Paired. I got here pretty fast. I got here faster than I thought I was going to get here, not going to lie. Uh, and I'm going to bring the camera. I gave my sister my G7X, which is smaller. So now I'm going to definitely have to carry around this bigger one, the Canon EOS. But it's okay. I just know this is prime time where people are actually out for sunset, walking their dog, exercising, so. If people see me, I can't be like, ah! I can't be like, oh my gosh, people are here. I know people are here and I wanna bring my camera. So, ah! <sighs> That's just the thing with like vlogging. Okay, let me get me a sip of water before going. Cause I'm not bringing this thing on the walk, so that's for sure. Okay. But I do have this to go around my waist so the camera could kind of like fit if I actually want to like run. So I guess I could put it on, why not? I'm just gonna look a little ridiculous cause this doesn't match anything. Well I guess, I'm wearing white and gray, come on girl. Be for real. There's people! Okay, let's go. I could be a photographer for all they know. They don't know my life. I've been doing, don't tell me. Oh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> I've been putting my keys, my watch, so that when I run, cause usually I don't have this. And I usually hold my phone in my hand, but I could put it in here. You were always so overthinking every little step that you would ever take. As we grew older, you couldn't stop. Oh, nature is so calming. It's all like a duck and <laughs> the little baby ducks together, and I'm like, ah! I need to stop doing that. Oh, another duck. Just relax and feel the flow It's time for you to let it all go Catch the waves as they're rolling in Reach the fire and go follow the sun Let the breeze come and drift away Can you feel the fire as you follow, follow the sun? I just got off the phone with my mom but I just wanted to say like walks has like helped me to like be active in a way like during the semester because I don't really like weight training that much but I want to be active I want that like feeling of like whatever hormones serotonin whatever the frick it's called that feeling 
to like keep me going. And like vitamin D is actually really important and necessary to have. It's just Florida, it'd be really hot. And who's trying to do all that during the midday? So it's either sunrise or sunset. And waking up early is not the easiest for me, even though I want to do it. It's always been a goal. A couple days ago when I was doing Bible study, and in Mark 1, it shows how Jesus woke up before daybreak to spend time with Jesus. And I'm like, see, this is why I want to wake up at 5 a.m. I don't just want to wake up at 5 a.m. because all the that girls, girlies do it. Because Jesus actually did it too. Like, he woke up early. Maybe my goal could be 6 o'clock, but like, I just want to be able to start my day and do a lot of stuff and have that time for me and with him before my day starts. And honestly, the times I do wake up at 5 a.m., it's because I prayed the night before, saying like, God, Holy Spirit, help me wake up. And it works, but the days I don't do that, I don't be waking up early. Like, I wake up early. Like, I wake up like 7, 7.30 naturally. So I feel like I wake up with the sun. I don't necessarily wake up before the sun because it's like the light is what helps me to wake up. That's a goal, so hopefully I could actually make that a routine eventually to actually wake up early and have that be part of my lifestyle. I'm at 0.56 miles. Yeah, and it's 7.36. So I'm gonna keep walking, listening to music. I've been slowly finding more music to add to my playlist. Yeah, I love it. Live in the moment, don't look back. Allow your heart to run free and you'll stay on track. Just relax and feel the flow. It's time for you to let it all go. is done it's 804 oh let me stop it i did a mile and 1.75 miles and it was 39 minutes long okay now i'm gonna head home i'm gonna eat the food i made yesterday which i wasn't really a fan of do i look sweaty i don't want to look sweaty all i want to do tonight is see if i can edit this vlog it shouldn't be long and eat i think i'm gonna do a face mask i was gonna do this this morning it's just like the the ordinary red a h peeling solution whatever because whenever i do have time to vlog apparently my face never wants to be clear because usually it's when i have a break from school and that means i was stressed out i had my period and now i'll have all these dark spots and acne scars again which made me not actually want to pick up the camera and vlog because i'm like why why and like i just have to be patient all over again for it to like go away and i just want to just have clear glowing skin I don't blame myself. I was eating ice cream and all that good. I was eating ice cream and cookies for like, like ice cream, cookies, and wine have literally been my go-to since like the end of February. So like March and April, it's been cookies, ice cream, and wine. So that explains the workout. Oh. Let's see if I could actually clean my room. I'm saying this, but I'm probably not gonna clean my room. I could bet you money. I'm not gonna bet money because I literally have to pay for my summer classes in a few days, so I'm not gonna bet money. But, like, my room just never stays clean. And it really depends what time I wanna go to bed, because I do wanna edit this vlog. But like, I also don't wanna see my room a mess. And it's a mess. Anyways, I'm gonna shower and listen to a podcast. I'm out the shower. I decided that I'm going to put this on, and while I have it on for like the seven, 10 minutes, I'm gonna like do a speed clean round for my room. Quick pick me up so my room's not as bad. Sometimes I have to do that. I just have to like pick up a few stuff and see how much I do. <laughs> All right, um, you know, I bought this like a year ago. Thing is, like, I'll buy skincare stuff and then I won't use it frequently. And I just pile up on them. Like, I don't want it to finish, but then it's like, girl, use it. And then they're gonna expire. <laughs> Edges, please. Don't roast my edges. Mm, crown, that's a jam. As you just saw, I did a speed clean. I had a seven minute timer, but I kind of went a little bit over just to like finish up some stuff. It's not 
fully clean how I want it, but it's definitely better. But you did see how dirty it was, so. Didn't really want to show it, but showed it. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably close to nine o'clock. I love these pimple patches. I love pimple patches now. I love actually seeing everything come out. I suck at putting my skin gear down to my neck, which we're supposed to do. It's okay. Honestly, I probably could just end the vlog right here, right now. JK I'm back. I just wanted to check the time. It's 9.16, so I was kind of correct. But thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. I didn't want it to be some planned out long video. I honestly just want to vlog. I just want to be able to pick up my camera and just talk to it and connect with you guys. And I feel like I've just been hard on myself for a while now when it comes to like editing and putting up videos. And I feel like I make the process like long in my head and then I don't do it and I don't know it's a lot and I don't want to overthink it I really don't I just want to do the thing because I like to do it so when I eat I'm gonna edit and see what happens let's see when this gets up I have a whole bunch of other videos that I've filmed and I never edited or like I half edited edited and I've never made the YouTube world and I don't want that to be a continuous thing because it's been like that for a while, since like 2021. We're in 2023. But it's okay. There are some videos I feel like I might edit. Like I have a travel vlog from 2021, from summer, when I went to St. Croix. Did not edit that. So that's at least one video I know I want to edit because it's a travel vlog. Everything else, mm, but yeah. So I think I'll do that when I'm actually done with school. And I'm, I'm honestly just, looks like I just want to keep talking. So how about this? Since I have a lot to say, you guys should comment down below if I should do daily vlog. <laughs> like daily vlog girl you barely even edit to post once a month but whatever but we'll see how everything goes I, I wish i was a daily vlogger oh my gosh i feel like if i was a daily vlogger i could get more stuff out of my head i would love to be a daily vlogger i just don't think i personally could keep up with my ambitions anyways guys subscribe thank you for being here love you don't forget to love yourself danielle michelle out peace